15 minute game let's see how we get on here and let's just push through hit the palm shall we just grab it it's a far flung pawn that looks a bit odd so i'm just going to go simple oh here we go it's okay but it doesn't show the level of the player it can still work to just sitting back waiting protecting all of these diagonals from the bishop's attacks so let's just uh, nice and steady away defend the pawn let's get the bishop out let's keep this a little bit open Go here, so they're doing everything from the back, they're not wanting to extend at all. It's probably looking to attack here. Yep, smaller piece attack and higher piece. Don't need to overthink that type of situation. And they've gone back. Bring the bishop here, or really supporting the pawn, but behind that pawn is the king. Going to hit the knight and the pawn, just giving them something to think about. Just go with the rook. Rooks don't have any place in the center of the board, so when they go and castle, they've not castled. Take the knight off the board. Keep more pressure on. I'm tempted to do this, but rooks don't have any place in the center of the board. It's just that it is attacking the bishop. Only piece that's defending it at the minute is the king. So the queen comes across. It does give us time to get our rook across here. So I'm actually going to go for that situation. So the queen does come, like we said, gives us time to get a three, three on one. They've got a two on one protection at the moment. So if they go running castling, then we can take the bishop off the board. Unless he brings something else in to defend, such as the knight. Which blocks off the king side castling. It does allow the bishop to attack their queen. So we will attack the queen because it's a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. It can come here to still maintain protection of the bishop. Knee jerk reaction will be going here, but you just take the rook off the board. X-ray through with the bishop onto the queen. I think we'll do that. This is probably going to come, but we do have potential. Maybe not that because the knight is there. So he's got to check on our king. Has he landed on anything? Because if we go here with the bishop, then obviously he takes the rook. So are we looking to go for the queen? Might as well go with the queen, I don't mind. It's definitely not landed on anything, has he? No, let's go with the queen. Okay, so I think we're probably best off taking with this rook because it really doesn't have any place in the center of the board. So we shall take with this one. We're still leaning on this. But they can go and castle that. Well, they can't actually because the bishop's blocking the king's way. <laughs> okay. So they'll hit this bishop. Oh, with their own bishop. Let's take. Go check with the rook. 
knight could get involved to attack. Rook is there. He's got three, one, two, three pieces defending. Yeah, it's still not working. Let's go with a check on the king. So if it's going here to get out of the way, still got the knight protecting. Maybe we'll come here. All right, so he has gone there. So if we bring the knight to attack the bishop, bishop just moves, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got a two on one. We've only got one protecting, so the bishop's going to move. It's attacking the rook, but the rook can come here. It's just that it's not a checkmate per se, because the king can come here. Which is a bit annoying, really, because it's a nice position. So we go there, the king comes here. We go here because this rook will have a check on the king. Okay, let's do it. Ooh. Oh, I can't move. Oh my gosh. He's got an x-ray through to my king that I didn't even notice. Oh. oh, well, nice shot then. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing all that planning. Oh dear. Looking at magical, maybe. It's not magical, but hey. So the knight's going to want to get into the game. We could go and attack and get the rook off the board. And it's a uh, checkmate. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sketchy checkmate, if ever I saw one. 